Hi guys, I am going to do my recap video from the meetup that I just got home from. So, as most of you know, we just, or if you've seen the previous almost two weeks worth of videos, Crystal, my friend Heather and I met up in Minneapolis and we basically had a girls week. We had such a blast. We were a little... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to move some stuff. We were a little bummed out. A few of the girls that were planning to come weren't able to make it. But we made the best of it. Um, there were lots of laughs. Lots of late nights. Lots of early mornings. Um, on Thursday, we also met Kylie from Kylie Cat S. Um, who has a YouTube channel as well. And Kylie was such a sweetheart. You know, it was great spending time with her. Um, we met at the mall pretty early. Not long after the mall opened. And we did the underwater adventure with Kylie. And there was supposed to be four other people that were supposed to join us. And... I think Krista touched in this in a video about meetup etiquette. So this is kind of going in another area of the recap or the recap is, you know, Crystal, Kylie, Heather and I were a little upset because there was one girl about before we left was kind of teetering if she was able to come or not. So she was kind of questionable, but we had um, somebody that literally said they were coming just day, not even, yeah, literally two days before we all flew out. I think it was Friday, it was either Thursday or Friday, did um, our RSVP thing and said she was coming. And then the night before she backed out. The one that was kind of questionable backed out the night before. And then we get to the mall on Thursday. And the two other ladies that were supposed to be there just left a message. Uh, short staff at work were not coming. And what really upset, especially Heather, Crystal, and I, is Heather, Crystal, and I took money of our own. And we went out and purchased and made little gift bags for everybody as a thank you. For, you know, taking the time out of their day to come out and hang out with us. And we thought it would be a sweet little gesture. And this is where we're talking about when you sign up and say you're coming to one of these meetups. You know, if you're questionable, as soon as you know that you're questionable, notify the host host or hosts and say hey some stuff came up I'm unable to make it or I'm not sure I'll be able to make it you know that gives us an idea because I've seen other people go to meetups in other areas and they're showing their little goodie bags that they got from the hostess and it seems to be getting more and more common that the hostess makes a little goodie bag for for the people that come to the meetup that they are hosting. And it might just be something little. Our goodie bags are pretty substantial. Um, I'm not even going to go into what all was in that. But there was a good amount of money put in each little goodie bag. Um, Kylie was pretty happy because since two of them the night before we knew wouldn't be coming, we dismantled two of the goodie bags and kind of spread that stuff amongst the three. And being the other two didn't show up, Kylie actually wound up with all three of the goodie bags. So, I mean, Kylie was happy about it. She got all the extra stuff that we were giving or we had put in the other goodie bags. So it worked out for Kylie. But, I mean, it was upsetting to us that, you know, we were... We had planned this. We were excited about this. And then to be... It basically fell apart literally 
not even an hour before with the two and the night before with the other two so just a little tip if you're gonna do these meetups you know have a little bit of etiquette I mean think about it if you were even hosting a party yourself not even doll related just hosting a party yourself how would you feel if you put all this time effort and expense into a party and one or no person showed up like we were beyond thankful that Kylie showed up Kylie was a, an awesome person she was fun to be around we had a lot of fun with her and the thing is is of the five women that said they would be coming Kylie literally had to drive a pretty good distance to get there and she was still able to get there and like honestly Crystal and I assumed that the two that said oh we're too busy at work we can't come we honestly thought that they probably took the day off I don't know about anybody else but you know if I'm gonna go to a meetup within driving distance of where I live and I worked I would be taking the day off especially if, since it was in the middle of the day so just in case something like that would come up and that way I mean you don't know like we had tentative plans to meet at a location and at first we were just gonna go eat in the food court then we decided to go eat at Dick's um, but we also planned on like shopping around the mall a little bit as a group and you know we tentatively put that the meetup would be from I think noon until 2 2 30 but you never know what's gonna happen because honestly we were at the mall with Kylie for I think we left the mall at 7 7 30 like we left the mall pretty late the mall was clearing out by the point we left because it was getting ready to close so that was one of our frustrations um, so that was one of I would say the low points but I mean there was lots of laughs to be had crystal heather and i were staying up till 2 a.m like talking and laughing um and you know we had lots of fun at the mall i mean it was just it was a fantastic it was a great week it was a great week and like everything that has happened since the meetup for me in my personal life i mean I, that was a much needed week and in fact um, when I went to my doctor for my monthly um, weight check I was telling her about it and she's like you know it sounds like that was something you really needed before all the stuff even though all the stuff is happening after the fact she goes it sounds like you had a great time and it, it was something that you really needed and that is honestly how I feel it's something that I truly truly needed to do I needed to um, I, I needed to get away I needed to clear my head and this was before all the stuff with my dad so I mean it was a great week we had lots of fun um, we had lots of laughs like taking our babies around the only regret Crystal and I realized um, after watching our footage is we wanted to stop at the Crayola Experience Store because our biggest thing was even though Haley, not Haley, Veda and Oakley matched pretty much the whole week. Like Crystal and I bought the same outfits um, or like in one case one of the outfits Kim had sent to both of us. We, um, the girls matched pretty much the whole week that we were there except for what Veda and Oakley wore on Monday and what they wore, what they wore there and what they home, wore home were different things. So, um, we really wish we would have stopped at Crayola Experience because they sell little onesies and they are like little Crayola crayon onesies. And I'm like, how cute would it have been to get like Veda purple, or not purple, get Veda pink, get Mateo blue, and then get Oakley yellow. And that way, they would have all matched. So that that's our only regret, was we didn't get to the Crayola Experience Store. So yeah, other than that, it was a fantastic time. 
it, it was hard to come home just in the the fact of like coming back to reality although we were all so exhausted at the point that we came home it was <laughs> when I got there I'm like is the five days gonna be enough because we all flew in on Monday and we flew out Friday so we basically had um, Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday all day together um, and you know in a group like that going to someplace like that I think that was the perfect amount of time where like if Crystal came here I would hope she would stay longer than be able to stay longer than three days or like if I take a trip up to Toronto, I'd hope to stay longer. I mean, and, and it depends upon a lot of variables, but stay longer than the three days of time together. Because in, in a sense, like when you're coming into one's home, like when Crystal came to Fargo, she flew in. Ooh. I think she flew in on a Sunday and left on a Saturday, if I'm not correct. I am not 100%, but I know she was there about a week. She was there longer than the three days because her and I did a lot in that time. We did a lot when she came to visit me, but, you know, it was in a more relaxed, laid-back area. So, first of all, we had my car, so wherever we wanted to go, we could go. We did a lot of shopping, um, but there was the downtime where we were able to... Um, We were able to, like, go hang out at my house and, you know, watch TV and do a craft or do something. Um, we didn't have to be at specific places at specific times. We didn't have to worry about a shuttle. It was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was more laid back. Where this was, since we're all going to one area, we want to pack as much in as we can in that time frame. So that was kind of my recap there. Lots of highs, lots of inside jokes, like Crystal will probably know exactly what I'm talking about with the inside joke. All I have to say is an ice cream cone and some drapes, and she knows where that one is going. But, you know, it was a great time, and I hope that Crystal and I don't take another nine years from seeing one each each other again because the last time I saw Crystal was in 2009 so almost 10 years ago that her and I saw each other when she came down to Fargo and this whole time I've been meaning to get back to Toronto but literally a month later after she came was when I got pregnant with my son and since him, it's been nonstop. Like, it, it was time to slow down. And you know what? I need to see my friend. I need to see my best friend in person. You know, we talk a lot online, but it's it's not the same as talking and having those laughs in person. So, I had a fantastic time. And, yeah. And also, this is my 400th video. So, um, I'm recording this in advance. The rate that I'm going by the time this goes up. I should have 875, if not closer to 875. So this is my giveaway video. I am going to be giving away this latch baby bottle that has been modified for a real care baby or a neonate, electronic neonate. And I am also giving away this MAM pacifier that has a little yellow bear on it and a little brown baby bear and this has not been modified I just decided not to modify this one being it in case somebody with a reborn one and they wanted to modify it themselves and I know some people don't like modifying pacifiers they want to leave them as props so I was going to leave that as is to let the new owner do that I will be doing the giveaway itself on uh, August 15th. So entries must be in by August 14th. 
and I will do use the two buddies to do the random generator for the giveaway. Um, so instead of doing the basic enter me, because I want to make sure you guys are watching and listening. So if you've made it to this point and you want to enter this giveaway, comment down below, you know, what what you think, if, if you've gone to a meetup or a doll show, you know, what was one of your favorite parts of it? If you haven't been able to do a meetup or a doll show, what do you imagine that is a must do or a person that you want to meet? at there so you have until august 14th the night of august 14th and i will be doing i'll probably be doing i would say by 10 o'clock p.m central time that night because i'll probably be recording the video and being in that video i will when i announce the winner i will also show you guys what my thousandth subscriber giveaway will be so i hope everybody has a great day and i will see you all later bye